guys, welcome back to my channel and to another video. So I thought I would carry on with my Does It Work series because you guys seem to love that series where I test out some new skincare. Um, usually it's a cleanser um, and this time I've got a cleanser, a cream and an eye cream to test out for you guys and I'm so excited about this. I have seen this everywhere on the internet. I've seen um, skincare by Hiram, highly recommend this. My aesthetic person that I used to see up in Manchester, she also uses this in her routine, which has made me really want to buy it. So I went out the other day and I bought the CeraVe Smoothing Cleanser. This is a SA Smoothing Cleanser for dry, rough, bumpy skin, which I have like quite dry and bumpy skin where I used to have my spots. So I'm so excited to test this out. I also purchased, 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 whatever you want to say, the CeraVe Smoothing SA Smoothing Cream, which is a massive tub of cream, so very excited about that. And the last product that I bought was the, Cer I think I'm saying it right, is it CeraVe? CeraVe? Something like that. I bought the Eye Repair Cream, which is just a little tube here. And again, so excited to see whether these products work, whether they actually improve my skin. And like always, I'm going to do a wear test, or not a wear test, a test for you all over the next week and show you the results every couple of days and just see how my skin improves. So if you want to see my thoughts on the CeraVe Smoothing, CeraVe, CeraVe Smoothing Collection and the eye cream, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first off we have the cleanser. So I've bought it up on the website. This was nine pounds from Boots. It is usually 12 pounds, but it was on like a little bit of a sale. So that's why I bought it. I'm really sorry about this lighting, it's awful, but I don't have any other choice. If I put on the backlight, it makes a massive noise. So we're just gonna do, deal with the lighting today. But anyway, this is the SA Smoothing Cleanser. It says, it gently cleanses while exfoliating without disrupting the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides, salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid. And it's fragrance free. So it says, the CeraVe SA Smooth and Cleanser for the face and body. This cleanser helps to alleviate rough and bumpy skin texture, leaving skin feeling smoother. The salicylic acid in the formula gently exfoliates the skin without compromising the skin's natural barrier. Developed with dermatologists, this daily foaming cleanser helps protect the skin's natural barrier with three essential ceramides and hydrates the skin with hyaluronic acid. So it says it's suitable for rough, bumpy skin, also suitable for skin prone to keratosis pilarasis. Gently removes oil, dirt, and makeup. The star ingredients are salicylic acid, hyaluronic acid, and it's free of physical exfoliants, which means it doesn't have that like grittiness to it, which is also really good for the environment because those gritty beads that you get in the exfoliant, it are usually like microplastics, which are awful for the environment. And I hate the fact that I have used them before. So that is really, really good. Uh, fragrance free, non-irritating, non-comedogenic, with three essential ceramides to protect skin's nat natural barrier. Recommended use in conjunction with the smoothing cream, which is this one here. So it just says how to use. So it says massage cleanser onto wet skin, rinse and avoid direct eye con direct contact with the eyes. Not direct eye contact. If contact occurs, rinse with water. So I am so excited to try this. So that is what the cleanser says. It's quite simple to the point, perfect, a clean cleanser, which is what everyone needs for their skin and just to try and sort of even out our skin tone, make ourselves feel a bit nicer. So the next product we have is the Smoothing Cream. This is in conjunction with the cleanser. This is the SA Smoothing Cream for dry, rough, bumpy skin. So it says a non-greasy cream designed to improve skin texture while providing all day hydration with three essential ceramides. I think I'm saying that right. There's quite a few words I have no idea if I'm saying right. CeraVe SA Skin Smoothing Cream for body. This cream helps to alleviate rough and bumpy skin texture, leaving skin feeling smoother in just three days. The salicylic acid and urea in the formula gently exfoliates the skin without compromising the skin's natural barrier. 
Developed with dermatologists, this fast absorbing non-greasy cream helps to protect the skin's natural barrier with three essential ceramides. The MVE technology locks in moisture giving hydration for up to 24 hours. So again, it says suitable for rough and bumpy skin, also suitable for skin prone to keratosis pleurasis. I'm gonna like look up what that means just for you guys because I feel like that might help us a little bit. I feel like it's like acne. So keratosis pilarasis is a harmful skin condition that causes dry skin and tiny bumps. It usually affects your arms, thighs or bottom. I think I have a bit on my shoulder. Um, so I'm gonna try this on my body as well. I'm definitely gonna be trying that. But that's what it says. I thought it was like acne. So that is my mistake, not acne. It's to do with like dry bumpy patches on your skin. Gently alleviates rough and bumpy skin texture. The star ingredients are urea, salicylic acid, LHA, and hyaluronic acid. Again, free of physical exfoliants, fragrance-free, non-irritating, non-comedogenic. Again, I wanna look up what that is. There are some words in here, I have no idea what they are, but that is what Google is for. Non-comedogenic is a fancy word that means not likely to cause comedones or pore blockages perfect so it won't block your pores because i find some moisturizers you just feel like you're just clogging your pores every time you put it on it's mainly used to describe skincare products and cosmetics perfect see google is so helpful the next one and it says recommended use in conjunction with the cleanser uh, it says how to use apply livery as often as needed avoid eye area again if contact occurs rinse thoroughly with water amazing i'm so excited to try these because i have like dry patches and bumps along here so we're going to see how that goes so now we're going to just look up the eye cream so it's an eye repair cream my glasses have fallen off i'm a bit greasy i have been for a walk two walks a day i've probably done quite a few steps so i'm just a bit a bit greasy so it's a lightweight eye cream for normal to dry skin enriched with three essential ceramides to help protect skin's natural barrier. So it's a lightweight eye cream to moisturize skin specifically developed to hydrate and protect the delicate eye area. This lightweight formula, which contains marine and botanical extracts and moisturize the delicate skin around the eye, whilst also leaving the area around the eyes looking brighter and more awake, which I definitely need, 100%. I think a lot of people need it in a minute. With three naturally occurring ceramides and hyaluronic acid, which are essential in supporting the skin barrier and retaining moisture, utilizes patented MVE delivery technology to help replenish ceramides and deliver controlled long lasting hydration. Suitable for all skin types, moisturize and maintain the delicate eye area. Lightweight formula locks in moisture for 24 hours and the eye area looks brighter, fragrance free and non common Genic, which basically means doesn't block your pores, with three essential ceramides to protect skin's natural barrier. Recommended in conjunction with CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion, which I don't have. And it just says how to use, apply a small in small dots around the eye area and gently smooth until thoroughly absorbed. Use alone or under makeup once or twice a day in the AM and or the PM. So we are now in the night time. So I'm gonna test this all out for you guys. Um, and I'm so so excited so if you want to see how this goes give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to see more of these don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will be testing out more like skincare products in the future because I love I'm trying to find my perfect routine to make my skin look as good as I can I am trying to improve my like eating as well so we will see what happens but yeah let's get on and try this okay so I'm now in the bathroom I'm just going to tie up my hair just so we can test out these products. I'm so excited to try these out. I've heard some really good things, but I just wanna see whether it works on my skin. Um, so this is what it's looking like at the minute. So it's not as bad, it's not the worst it's been. So I've got a sink full of hot water here and I'm just going to dampen my skin. So we're gonna take the smoothing cleanser first. So I've taken one pump. I'm just going to. Oh, 
just really smooth that into the skin. I can definitely feel that like acid, it's definitely on my lip, but not like a harsh one. It's nothing like the ordinary um, kind of feel. So I avoided contact with the eyes and I'm just gonna wipe this away. So this is what my skin looks like right after. Obviously it's gonna look more red because we have got salicylic acid on our skin um, and it does sort of increase the redness in your skin because obviously you put an acid on your skin, it's gonna intensify all those sort of red patches. So I'm just gonna use, I always use a dry sort of flannel just to dampen or dry off my skin. Just pat, don't rub. And this way like I don't use a hand towel because it gets mixed up and also other people will dry their hands with it. So my skin feels super smooth, like incredibly smooth. I love that feeling. Um, so now I'm just gonna use my products. So I'm just gonna use some organic pressed rose hip seed oil, which I use before. So with this sort of test for this week, I'll use the same products. Obviously I won't use the rose hip in the morning, that will just be an evening step. Um, it's more like niacinamide and all the other products that I'll use. It just sinks into the skin so nicely. And then I'm going to use my niacinamide by The Ordinary. And again... I just want it to be like I'm wearing makeup without wearing makeup if that makes sense. I just want my skin to be smooth so that if I want to wear makeup over the top of it it doesn't sort of catch on the redness or anything like that. That is like my main aim. So now I'm going to go in with our smoothing cream. So I have like these sort of bumps. So I'm hoping, it says apply liberally. So I've taken this. It's quite like a thick texture. I don't think it's going to be one that I'd use in the morning as well. It's just a bit too heavy for an all day cream. But we will see, like so. So that actually smells, smells quite sort of normal. The cleanser didn't have a scent either, which is really nice. It's fragrance, doesn't have any fragrance. But yeah, I, I like that. It just feels very heavy. It's like a very thick cream. Um, it feels a bit like a double base, like one that you'd use on sort of eczema. But I quite like that for like a nighttime cream. I like that sort of heavier feeling cream. So it feels like you've actually got something on your skin and it feels like it's actually doing something. So the last product we've got is the eye repair cream. I was looking at the wrong side. Eye repair cream. Just because I have like the bags under my eyes. So it reduces the look of dark circles and puffiness and helps restore the protective skin barrier. So this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to put it on my middle finger and I'm going to rub it together and just warm it up a little bit. And then we're just going to... So this is what my skin looks like after the first like treatment. It feels really nice. It feels like I've got like stuff on my skin. It's a little bit tingly over the areas where I've got spots. Um, but I kind of like that feeling because I feel like it's actually working. It's actually doing something to my skin. So as I said, I will do this for like the next week. Um, checking with you guys as and when I can or as and when I remember because that's like my main thing. And yeah, we'll see how this works. Whether there's a like dramatic improvement in a week, whether it's a slight improvement or whether there's no improvement. So yeah, if you want to carry on watching this, I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, so it's now been three days. It's been 72 hours since I tried the CeraVe cleanser, the moisturizer, and the eye cream. So I'm now gonna give you like an update. So I haven't used it yet. Um, so I'm just gonna sort of zoom in for you guys. So this is how my cheek is looking, my other cheek and how my eyes are looking. I feel like I need to, that's a bit better. They're just looking a little less puffy and I feel like my skin it just feels so so smooth every time I use this my skin feels like a baby's bottom it just feels amazing and um, obviously I'm gonna be trying it for a week so I still have 
until like Tuesday to try this out um, and then I'll give like my full review on it but so far so so good I haven't used it on my body yet and um, I also haven't used this on my body yet um, just I don't know there's part of me that's just a bit scared and I keep forgetting because it's not a usual step in my routine um, usually I just use different creams on my body so it's just kind of getting used to possibly using something else but now I'm just going to do my skin for you guys so we can just see it after it's all done and you guys can see the texture but this is what it's looking like before I have cleaned my skin and done anything so I'm just going to fill my sink with water, grab a flannel and then we get on with this so I was thinking the other day this is quite expensive for what you get but a little bit goes a long way so this is usually about £2 but you get 150 ml in this and also it's not that great whereas this is £9 at the minute, usually about £12 but you get 236 millilitres in this and I've barely even touched it yet like it's still basically full so I feel like this would last me a hell of a lot longer than anything else because usually with something else I have to really scrub my skin to make it feel smooth this one pump and I'm done and it's it's incredible so I'm just going to wet my skin I have noticed with like looking over um, like old videos that my skin has improved a hell of a lot so I just take one pump and I put a bit of water with it just because it's quite thick until I get like a foamy consistency and then I just rub it in and wherever I feel like I've got like drier or sort of rougher skin I sort of focus on that a little bit more like I always find my top lip and below my chin is like a really bad area but it is mainly like this part of my cheek and then I just delicately I don't scrub I just sort of wipe away the product but my skin doesn't go red like usually before I would have super red skin and it would look so irritated because I'd be scrubbing it so much with like a flannel and a like physical exfoliant that had like beads in it and everything so this is what we're looking like straight after my skin is super smooth and just feels amazing and yeah so I'm just going to do my other two steps which is my um I can't remember what it is now niacinamide by The Ordinary which I've used for ages and I absolutely love and also my organic cold press rosehip oil by The Ordinary as well which just helps to retain moisture so I'm going to do the, those two steps and then we'll go on to the creams okay so I do look a little bit shiny but honestly that's just my skin now um, it's just so smooth and hydrated from all the products it just feels amazing so now we have the cream which there is so much in here I literally take this much even that might be a little bit much this much and I warm it up in my fingers and then I just rub that into my skin being gentle avoiding the eye area because that's why I have eye cream just because this is a little bit strong to put around the eye area because it does contain salicylic acid and hyaluronic acid it wouldn't be one I'd put over my eyes ensuring we're going upwards try not to go downwards I always love how my skin feels the first time I used this it felt really sort of cloggy and it felt like I was being suffocated a little bit but I think I put a bit too much on um, but once it's like completely sunken into your skin I wear this on a daily basis and I don't feel any more oily or any more sort of affected by it I haven't worn it under makeup yet that is one thing I haven't done so that will be a test but now I'm going to take the eye cream and just I usually take it on my finger but this says to like dot it under my eyes and I like red back so we're going to do what it says see how it goes and I'm just going to take my middle finger and just in also over my eye so not cause any irritation or pull my skin any more than it needs to and there we are so this is how my skin is looking straight after doing my nighttime routine I feel like my skin looks a hell of a lot less red 
my spots aren't coming back in as quickly i just feel like it just makes my skin look youthful like this isn't oily this is just my skin glowing from within which is an amazing feeling considering like if you probably go back not even six weeks my skin looked a hell of a lot worse than this um, but like i said i'm focusing on water eating a bit better and doing exercise and just making myself feel a bit better and also having a really good routine is a must um, so so far so good i'm absolutely loving this and the cream and the eye cream haven't found any issues yet there's no scent it doesn't feel cakey not cakey cloggy um, like it says it doesn't clog your pores i can't remember the word but non-comedogenic -com something like that um, but yeah it doesn't clog your pores so it just feels so nice and after a day of walking and feeling a bit sweaty i didn't get really sweaty um, which is quite nice and also i didn't feel like my skin was like oily like an oil slip like you saw at the beginning it was a little bit oily but nothing more than usual i have oily skin it's to be expected i'm not wearing anything else other than this so yeah i will see you guys in a couple of days and it will probably be the last day and um, because i keep forgetting to film this <laughs> um, but yeah give you my final review and we can say whether it's a yay or a nay from myself and see how my skin's looking then okay <laughs> this was really weird i haven't filmed in about a month i was gonna do a week um i think it's been about a month and a week since i filmed my cerave sa smoothing cleanser video and i have been using it so i thought i would give you guys an update um obviously for you it's the same video but it has literally been so long and i haven't uploaded a video in forever like it feels insane like i should have uploaded quite a while ago yes i am in my comfy clothes so i'm getting ready for going to bed <laughs> but i thought i'd give you a close-up of my skin once i've done all my steps but yeah i just i just feel weird i haven't uploaded for you guys um i haven't even uploaded like my workout sort of videos I don't know what's going on. I think I'm just, <laughs> it's getting towards Christmas. I love Christmas. It's my favourite time of the year. And I just feel a bit stagnant, if that's a word that I could use. Um, a bit stuck. I've started my new job, which is amazing. I actually have a job now. Obviously, we've just been in another lockdown, um, which ended three days ago. Right, I'm just going to take a pump of this. I will be updating you guys like more on what's going on um, like in another video. But for today, we're just going to focus on skincare and just making ourselves feel nice. Obviously, I have some pretty big spots, which I think I don't actually know what it's from. I can't really pinpoint it. They just suddenly come out of nowhere. Sometimes I do let my skin rest. I don't like to over clean. So I think sometimes maybe I leave it a bit too long. Um, sometimes I only like clean my skin once a day. So twice. Obviously it depends on wearing makeup. If I'm wearing makeup it's twice a day. But sometimes I might just do it in the evening. Because I like my makeup to work. Which is a big step for me. And then I'm just going to rinse it off how I usually would. Sometimes I do double do this and I apply it twice, which obviously isn't the best idea because it does, it's an exfoliant and it's got acid in it. But that's just what I've been doing. And I must say my skin does feel amazing. Even Callum's commented of it, on it and just said, your skin looks really good, which is lovely. I like having compliments on my skin. So this is what my skin looks like straight after cleansing. Obviously, like I said, spot, spot. It's not perfect, like I don't think I'm ever going to have flawless looking skin, but I like how it looks at the minute. Now I have run out of one of my products, which is so annoying. I run out of my niacinamide, which helps with like scars and dark patches, but I do have my organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil, which is perfect for just giving my skin that extra bit of hydration so I'm just going to I apply this all over my face I even go on my eyes a bit I don't know whether that's what you're meant to do 
just looks a bit, Callum would call it greasy. <laughs> I call it glowy. So then I'm just going to take my CeraVe smoothing cream. I can't even speak then. And at night, I usually take like a big dollop of it because it does say apply liberally. And then I just apply that onto my skin. I have found that like doing my exercise and everything has helped with my skincare. My skincare? With my skin. Not my skincare. Because <laughs> I'm drinking more. I think I'm... I say drinking more. I'm drinking what I should be drinking, which is two litres at least a day. And obviously with working out, you want to increase that a bit because obviously you're sweating. I don't like to apply too much to my skin. I have found the more that I apply, the worse my skin feels. So my skin feels so smooth. So then I just use my CeraVe eye cream or the eye repair cream, which I found out the other day, eye cream is actually just a bit of a rip off. Um, it's just a glorified moisturizer. So now I just feel like a bit of a silly sausage for buying an eye cream, so. But I'm gonna use it because I bought it. But yeah, that is literally it. Then I apply a bit of lip balm before I go to bed just because I like to have soft, supple lips and when I wake up, it's kind of nice. So this is how my skin looks straight after all those steps. I feel like it looks really nice. When I wear makeup, it goes on so smoothly. Don't know why I'm doing all this with my hands. My final thoughts. As I just said, the eye cream, just a glorified moisturiser, but do not use this on your eyes. It's too um, strong for your eye area. Your eye area is very sort of thin, so you don't want to apply something really strong and stripping to that area. So if you're gonna use a moisturiser, use a different moisturiser or just get an eye cream if you're wanting to use this. I do really, really like this. Sometimes I do feel like my skin is a bit greasier because I use this. I would say this is a good one for at night, just to go on your skin and just, you can put so much on and it really works. You can really feel it working, not in like a bad way, but you can feel it sort of doing something. So yeah, I would apply this as a night cream. It's a very big tub of night cream, but I have been using it for a month and I have barely even like scraped the surface. And I have been using this twice a day for a month or at least a month or a, maybe a bit more than a month. And I really, really like it. This, oh my word, it feels amazing. It's doing good things for the environment as well because you aren't using those small plastic beads in your exfoliator. It's like a natural exfoliator because you're using an acid. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I want to try some of the other products from CeraVe um, just because I think maybe I might like them. I feel like this might be like my go-to cleanser. There are so many products I want to try and over the next year, 2021, I want to try a lot of cleansers um, and moisturizers. I think once a month it will be a new thing. I think I need to give my skin at least a month, maybe two, depending on what moisturizer or cleanser I'm using. So next year, definitely hit that subscribe and like button if you want to see it. Um, and also comment below what other cleansers you want to see me try. But yeah, highly, highly recommend. I will link it down below for you guys to go check out. Affordable. I'd also recommend this for, yeah, teenagers because it is affordable. I probably wouldn't recommend this if you have acne just because it is a bit harsh. It's more for like dry skin. Obviously I do have like oilier skin, but it's dry, rough and bumpy skin. So that's why I'm saying maybe I need to try a different one as well, just to see whether I can even out my skin a bit more. But I've definitely noticed a difference. My skin feels so much smoother, nicer, supple. And then this combination at night, definitely at night, this is more of a nighttime routine, I would say, which I know is a lot, um, but that's how I would use it. But yes, CeraVe. I just want to try more of it. Um, I will... As I said, update you guys on what's going on in my life, what's going on with everything. It feels weird to be in front of a camera again, but it feels quite nice. So yeah, highly, highly recommend. This is a definite, if you have rough, bumpy skin, skin that you always feel like you need to exfoliate so much, which I felt like I did, because like my nose area and all around here would feel so bumpy, spots, everything like that. 
absolute go-to. I sometimes, if I am wearing makeup, I'll use two pumps. Normally, I just use one. But yeah, I have used quite a bit. That's all that's left, and I've used it for a month, so I'm probably using a bit too much. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and want to see some more of my videos. I'll link down below some of my other sort of cleanser trying videos for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing Christmas if I don't see you before because my schedule is a bit all over the place at the minute. And yeah, I will see you in my next video at some point. Bye guys.